I'm Bert and I'm having a party. <laughs> it's going to be New Year and it's going to be fun. I was on my way to a New Year's Eve party that was being hosted by a young man named Bert. His invitation video had caught the eye of my producer, who contacted Bert and arranged for the party to be filmed as part of a new reality documentary series. Whilst my crew and I travelled to the party's location not far from our studios, a second unit had travelled almost 300 miles to meet one of Bert's oldest friends, Dan, who would soon be starting the long journey to tonight's party. Thanks to social networks, news of the event had travelled fast, and Dan's invitation to the party had caused some speculation amongst his colleagues. I heard Dan got invited to a pretty sweet party tonight. Yeah, I, I heard that too. That's going to be pretty sweet. Yeah, I heard it was going to be off the hook. Sweet. Did you get an invite? No. No. Nige, you get one, mate. You'll be getting back. You do anything. Yeah, not at all. My good friend Bert, who I met when we were much younger in Scouts, just invited me to his New Year's Eve party, which is apparently going to be one of the best yet. Much better than his last attempt. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a blast, but to the outsider, they may not look like parties, you know? This revelation about the host's previous parties had me wondering, what does tonight have in store? And just who is this Bert? I was about to find out. Hello? Hi, is that Bert? It's Stephen Spokes here about the uh, documentary recording. Hi, yes, hi. Oh, Bert, yeah. Thanks very much. I think we've got to set up a table or something around here. So, in your own time, uh, just introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Bert. Uh, I live here. And this is my documentary about, uh, about New Year. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'd like to see my name in lights, but be nice. I've hired a local band, and I think a lot of the guests will have been to their gigs already. Um, I think the drummer is from somewhere else. I don't think he's local, but uh, no doubt he'll, he'll make friends. Well, he's not there to make friends, is he? He's at the play. You're all set for the party. Almost just got finished the drunk yet. Do you need my hands? No, not really. I can I can probably move this about if you need it to be moved. It looks good where it is, thanks. Is this, <laughs> that's set where it's meant to be, is it? I'm a bit of an aspiring musician, actually. Uh, if the drummer isn't very good, then I might actually try and edge my way in on his kit, because I've done you know when you the flam when you Preparations for the party continued, Bert's friend Dan had been held up and was still many miles from the venue. I have become incredibly lost. How I've definitely taken a wrong turn, and I think it was probably um, six or seven miles ago. I mean, even once I get back to where I went wrong, I still don't entirely know where his house is. But it's still light, so. You know how these things are, they don't get going for a while. Yeah, hopefully I'll make it still. Despite his optimism, Dan's luck 
was about to get worse. Oh, would you look at that? His chances of making the party on time were beginning to look bleak. I'm quite nervous, actually. What are you nervous about, Bert? Well, later on, there's going to be the band. And, you know, with music, obviously, comes dancing. And I was kind of hoping to sort of impress them with my dance skills. So I just went on the internet and got a sort of step-by-step. -step. So I'm just trying to practice it now. I know most of the guests, um, but I left it open to maybe invite a friend, just to make sure there's a, a nice turnout. Because um, I don't have um, have too many people of my own I could invite. Um, I hope people turn up. It'd be a shame otherwise. With the band warming up and guests due to arrive at any moment, Harrison, the bartender, had arrived. Last two. Hiya. Hi, how's it hiya. going? Hiya. Um, it's going great, yeah. I thought I'd introduce yeah. myself. I'm Bert. I'm running this party. Oh, hiya, Bert. Hi, hi. Right. Yes. What I thought you could do is I thought you could set your bottles out like um, like this um, and serve people out of the plastic cups like you've, you've got them uh, and sort of advertise yourself, you know. Uh, we, we've got drinks. Um, yes. And uh, if you need any help, just call me over. I'll be over at the party just over there. You might be able to hear it a little bit. Mm. I think I'll be fine. Done it before. Right, fine. Did uh, I tell you done Pete and Jordan's wedding? Uh, no. no. Jimmy Beadle. Justin up Holly Oaks. The clientele of this party aren't the usual clientele I deal with. They're not as sophisticated. I mean, the people I usually deal with are sort of version on celebrity status or millionaires. I think someone's calling you. Uh, good luck. Okay. Weird, man. Anyone think I was just off the market stall advertised? Come get your vodka, for pound. I don't know. Sometime later, the first of the guests arrived. Meanwhile, and still with over a hundred miles to travel, Dan was beginning to consider his options. Well, if I don't make it, um, I thought about that. I guess I'll just drive home. Hey, you're right, mate. Oh, hi, yeah. Roy. I'm Harrison. All right. Uh, Bert told me you could do with a hand with the drinks and whatnot, because, you know, I've served yeah. my time. I'll tell you I... what, right, um, a big burly man like you, the key to being a barman is to watch the door clientele and that. I need a feel of what people are going to want. I need to know how to market my bar. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, so you want, you're telling me that you want me to go and watch the door and, yes. you know, what, report to you? Well, I will come and get a report off you at a later time. Oh, so I, I'm... I'm gonna stay there and wait yes, you until stay you, there. you, oh, okay. Keep your eyes on the people. So I, that, just wait. Just wait. You look like you've got a good eye for people's characters. Well, you know, I got 2020. Yeah, superb. Bert tells me, you know, the barman needs some help serving drinks, but I get there and he tells me he needs me to watch the door. No, it's the first party. I've been invited to in a while, you know, and I was looking forward to to having a good time. Hey, do you remember me? No, party's around there. Oh. You know, I've had to deal with some right bastards, you know. I can deal with them, but at the same time, it's just it's f***ing annoying, you know. Hey, who are you? I don't know who I am. <laughs> no. Hey, look, the party's around the side. So, yeah, I know, I live here. 
my sister and I are quite close. Um, you know, we did argue, but we got on well enough to, you know, have a party and not shut her away somewhere. I mean, I, I quite like having friends who like my sister. Um, because they don't always like me. Bert thinks he's a bit more popular than he is, but I get the feeling that a lot of people are just fleecing him. You know, they've got last minute, didn't have a party to go to, so just come here. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Paul's daughter from around the corner. Oh, Paul, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I heard there's a party going on. Well, I can hear it, and uh, I was wondering, can I come in? Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Who's Paul? As we were about to discover, Paul was Bert's neighbour from round the corner. Hi, uh, it's Paul from round the corner. I just heard the racket. I know it's New Year, but this is too much. All right then, good night. I had so many questions. But I never got any answers. Party in full swing, everyone seemed to be having a good time, and Harrison was getting to know some of the guests. Whereabouts are you from then? Oh, I'm from Twickenham. Twickenham, all oh, the rugby. I live in the rugby stadium. Do you? Yes. Elsewhere, however, Roy was still watching the door. Do you feel like you're missing out? Well, you know, I can, as you can tell, you can hear the music from here, so, you know. You know, it's not that I'm having a bad time, it's just that, you know, I wish I was in the mix of it, but, uh, couldn't you have come off the door by now? No, I've been uh, told to await, you know, further instructions. Do you think this will affect your friendship with Bert? No. I'll get over it. Back over at the party, one of the guests had broken away from the main group and appeared to be using recreational drugs. What's that you've got? Sugar? Yeah, sugar. Mind if I, uh, mind if I try some? I've got a bit of a sweet tooth. And it's up the nose, is that how you? Right. Sweet. Thanks, Dave. See you later. I think I just saw Bert take some kind of recreational drug. I'm not entirely sure, but, um, I don't know if we should keep filming. Keep rolling for now, we'll show up. Moments later, my suspicions were confirmed. I'm the chair king! front gate, Paul from round the corner had returned. It has become obvious to me that you are going to have a party anyway. May I join? Go for it. Thank you. Just been imported this week. Who's that? It's from Italy. Italy? Yeah, Italy. Nice no, Greece, isn't it? Greece? Roy, I noticed you let Paul in. Have you been checking invitations at all tonight? Well, someone gave me a list, but, you know, it's a party. Everyone's here to have a good time. And 
you know, I want to have a good time. I'm going to have a good time by letting people in because I want to see the smiles on their faces. Do you get what I mean? I liked your singing tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, I quite like your daughter singing as well, actually. What do you mean? Oh no, I just I just you know she's just a nice nice person, and uh, yeah, she, I, I would quite like to hear her sing one time. When? It, it, at night, sometime. I, I will not take this. I do not like this. It's my daughter. You make me angry, and you won't like me when I'm angry. Um, but I, I just, I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. <laughs> As the band wrapped up and started to mingle, I caught up with Harrison to ask him about some of the guests he'd served throughout the night. Well, I've met some racists, some homophobes, some just downright rude. You're putting your luck. I'm putting my luck. You're putting your luck. What? You're pushing it a lot. How am I pushing my lap? A couple of times I thought I was going to have to bring out my Taekwondo that I learned as a youngster. So you'd like that, would you? Yeah, yeah, I like Be that. careful. One right. of my ex-boyfriends used to drink this and used to get very aggressive. Well, boyfriend? Boyfriend. Partner. Lover. Oh. You know, we live in a society of mixed people nowadays and people have got to grasp that and accept it. How's it going, Bert? It's New Year, and I miss the countdown. How's it going, Harrison? Things seem to have died down a bit. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty quiet now. So, has uh, Bert confirmed what your fee will be for tonight? Do you know what you're getting paid? Or? I don't know. I, I don't usually discuss money. I find it a bit rude. Usually, um, I get paid a substantial amount, and it, I'm always happy with it. So, you know, it just when the check comes through, I open it up and I smile. So right, I mean, so it looks like the party is pretty much done. I mean, that is Bert walking off over there. So, am I right in thinking he hasn't paid you anything yet? No, not yet. He said um, by three o'clock he will. In the morning. Yes. What are you going to do until then? Are you just going to wait around? I'll just wait. You know, he said three o'clock he wanted me to, and I'm professional, so I'm going to work till then. A lot of flies around here. Is there a rubbish dump or something? Sewage works. Isn't it? So, morning. It looks like you're one of the last ones here. What will you do when you get home? Probably, I don't know. Got uh, some cheese and toast. That's half of we're making. It's just on the side. Not put that in. Bit peckish. Take your last time. Yeah. With the party now at an end, I wanted to catch up with Bert one last time to ask him about what he'd learned from the experience. When you host a party, you find you know you you never sort of stop and you never sort of settle down and enjoy it. You're sort of rushing around making sure people are dancing and, and, and got nibbles and 
So uh, it would be nice maybe not to host the next one. But um, I guess hosting it was the only way to make sure uh, I, I was invited. Your sister Lizzie certainly seemed to be enjoying herself tonight. Uh, it looks like she definitely made a few new friends, so that's got to be a success, right? You know, I get on with my sister, but you know, it, it was my party rather than hers. And I heard people telling her, you know, great party. Um, but um, no one ever actually said that to me. But maybe that was because I was wandering around. And... In the end, I'm glad people enjoyed themselves, but I just feel, you know, it was all a bit shallow. And at the end, I'm still the kind of, you know, before it, I was on my own. And, you know, now after it, I'm, I'm back on my own. So, you know, I didn't really... I was hoping, to, you know, I was hoping to meet someone, to be honest, I would, you know. Oh well. Is there anything positive you'd like to end on? Is there anything you'd like to say to finish this off? You know, I'd like to say Happy New Year to, um, to everybody. Um, get those resolutions sorted. I think mine will be, you know, do something and find love find love as I left the party I couldn't shake the feeling that I was leaving behind a broken man the bird I had just spoken to seemed a far cry from the lively optimistic man I had met earlier in the day. I sensed I had been witnessing a performance designed to hide a deeply insecure person underneath. Between him and his various associates that I'd encountered throughout the night, the overriding feeling was that I'd just witnessed a party for lost souls, each of them seeking something different, but seeking nonetheless. Whether or not they would find what they needed, I couldn't say but I was fairly certain of one thing. This documentary would never make it to air. I'm in danger of missing this party. <laughs>